So here's our 22 MLE Grand Design bumper pole. Usually the 22 indicates your, your length. So it's a 22 foot travel trailer. Opens up right into a bedroom, living room and your kitchen are all kind of in one living area. But it is a nice large use of space. You're not wasting any space with a hallway or an oversight overhead loft. Nice color schemes in this coach. Check out the size of the freezer. Nice big refrigerator unit. I like the rear kitchen. Nice size bathroom. Nice size shower. It's pretty roomy. 22 for a foot small trailer, unit. yeah. I like this too because you've got a lot of cabinet space and it's off. To the side, and you could be cooking right here. The yeah. eating, the watching TV, everything's open. Like, yeah, everything's good. I don't know. Let's see if he's around there. Here's the price on this unit. Get his clamp on. All right, this is where I would be shopping if I had a truck and I was going to keep the truck and I needed a camper to pull. This would be my aisle right here. These are all Solitudes. grand design, reflection, solitude. These are all great campers, very good quality. Um, they tow nice. I just love them. The stabilization systems, I've moved a lot of these and they're just real easy to set up. This is what we would be buying if I had a truck. I don't really have a preference one model over the other. I think they're all nice. We're just going to go in one here at random. This is a 39 footer. Oh wow. I don't even know which way to go first. But you're going to see the quality, I mean right off the rip. You got stainless steel. This one does have an overhead bunk area. So this would be less attractive to me with the overhead bunk. I just don't have a use for it. Nice large living area. It's got a double slides across from each other, making that space really big. The size of this bedroom. Look how much room you have to walk around. And you can put an entrance at the back into the bathroom. Oh yeah, there's another entrance. The stairs go down. Very nice. That'd be nice for camping. If you, can, if you have kids, this is you great. Can sleep plenty of them in there. Are you able to see? Yeah. And there's windows. Nice area. That's a lot of room. You got the kids at one end and the parents on the other. And Perfect. A nice size bathroom again here. Yeah, very nice finishes. Rain soft shower heads. I'm gonna hide from you. <laughs> this is where the cookies are at. Oh, is that where the cookies are? That's where the cookies are at. Did you find the golden key? I'm still looking at How about the hot potato? Hot potato. It might be in the microwave, you think? Or one of those other hot button issues. <laughs> All right, we're going to look at a few pop-ups here. These are good for probably a little family weekend. Yeah. Now, you'll see some of these in Alaska, but not many. They're not real popular because they don't offer any protection from the bears. The bears There's can come bathroom. right through these and rip them up. There's your bathroom. <laughs> There's your bathroom. <laughs> For this price, it's probably better oh, than sleeping in a tent if oh, you're yeah. camping with the family. And you can tow it with a car or a Jeep or a small sport utility vehicle, so it's great for that. Your weekender, they're easy to put up, easy to take down. They're not going to take off on your fuel mileage. They do have bigger ones across the way. They do, yeah, they got bigger they ones. Yeah, that would be that would be neat. Ours doesn't have that, but we're gonna make something. 
Nice unit. You got beds on both sides. It's got a little kitchen where the other one didn't. Right, you got a small little kitchen. Some of these have shower units in them and some don't. Does this one? I'm not seeing that it does. Usually they're over the toilet. Um, I don't think this does, no. I guess you get a kitchen, no bathroom. No bathroom at all, yeah. So many different models here to pick from. These are Rockwoods, Jayco's. Yeah, these are small towable trailers, smaller. Some of these have slides on them. Hey, this is a Class C on a Mercedes chassis, similar to the one we have. It's called a Dynamax. I'm not familiar with it. It's pretty roomy. Yeah, cockpit looks identical. Yeah. Nice large 2.5 sectional couch. Yeah. Oh, I like these drawers. Yeah. I like this tray. Oh, yeah, that's different. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, we walked up on this thing. I don't even know what this is. This is getting a lot of attention and it's super cool. It's on a 5500 Dodge Ram, which is a good start already. I like the color of it. It has kind of a rough texture. Definitely some kind of off-road capability here. Wow. Yeah, the truck is huge. Well, these things probably go for about 350 you know? 350 But you get the truck with it. Yeah. Oh, it is a truck. Because what you're paying mostly for is the chassis. Hey, yes, the same price as your truck. You're not paying for the same. Yeah, the chassis. Just look at the price. You're paying for that. Wow. The guy was saying these are priced at around 350000 it's almost a tactical vehicle. <laughs> There's a lot of attention on this one. You gotta wait in line to get in. What do you think of this one? It looks pretty tough. <laughs> you could probably go to some cool places with it. Yeah, I bet you can cross some streams with this. Could you cross Otter Creek? Do <laughs> what? Could you cross Otter Creek? Um, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's cool. That little cubby goes through the back seat. It goes to the cockpit. That's cool. It goes to the back seat, Travis. Yeah, but it's the cab. Oh, it is a truck. Yeah, that's what I said. Wow. Oh, wow. That's cool. And there's like cubby drawer. You can put your yeah, stuff there's in. cubby drawers on the side there. Wow. I'm definitely seeing some upscale in the quality here. And that's a built-in shower on the toilet area. This is surprisingly roomy. Yeah, this 
This is definitely your bug out vehicle. Kevin, it's... Very nice. We're going to make this pretty quick. we got people waiting to get in here. So. Yeah. The sitting area, the kitchen. If you can see very well, that goes I can, through. I can get my hand in there. Look at the back seat. <laughs> a little slide door there. Yeah. All right. We got people waiting in line to get in here. This is the. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you. Were oh fine. no, you're fine. How you like it over there? Comfortable. Pretty nice, ain't it? She she may have trouble getting in it. It's pretty roomy. <laughs> it's very roomy. Really? I love this limited edition leather that Dodge oh, yeah. put in these things. They are very sweet. Make sure you get it you see this tough paint job? I know, it's a textured paint. And it's on the whole thing. The whole thing. Just that paint job is probably, I don't know, I, don't even, Check out I can't even guess. 10 to 15? Look how roomy that is. More? It's the back seat. You can sleep in the back seat. Ooh. Crazy. Don't see a price tag on this one. If you have to ask, oh, you're almost two hundred thousand. That's too much. One guy was saying three fifty. Four. Four. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Nah. Four G's. Wow. Yeah. Actually, four hundred G's. <laughs> four G's sold. Four hundred G's. Eh. Got the winch package on it. Go back out here so you can see the whole thing. It's beautiful. We missed these when we first came in, the Bushwhackers. What I like about these is that they're towable with a small vehicle and they're also set up for all-terrain travel. So look at these tires. That'd be great for these little... Beach, like beach getaways or up in the woods on a small trail that a Jeep could go up but a truck really, you know, wouldn't have an easy time. These are just nice. I like these. And they're well built. They're rugged built. Yeah, they got good stability. They got nice, I just, there's some nice rugged features on these. There's an outdoor shower. Outdoor shower. Like, these are weekend getaways. These are not full-time living. This seems to be their best. Okay. What I want to, want to show this back, this rear kitchen right here. Isn't that cool? Everything right there at your fingertips. Your grill, your microwave, your fridge, cabinets, your cook, and even your blackstone. So high-end appliances here. Very nice. Yep. All you need is your chair and you're good to go. All you There's needs a Bushwhacker Plus over here. Oh, let's check check, it out. oh, absolutely. It's like a teardrop model. Hey, how are you? Good. Looking for anything in particular? Oh, we're just looking. I wish y'all had some Tiffins out here. They are some Tiffins. They got some I haven't seen any. So uh, they got a Tiffin Phaeton. Um, or the Class A? Yeah. Oh, okay. Looking for a Wayfarer. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen none of those. Those sell uh, like this. <laughs> I've seen any of those. Yeah. How you guys doing? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Ooh, hit my, I hit my head on the door. <laughs> Be careful. There you go. Yeah, these are yeah. small, but man. Yeah, you have couch, and then it folds down to your bed area, but there you can put this table right here. There's an AC unit. Yeah. This is that. great for a little weekend getaway. Yeah, perfect. A little fridge, grab your booze. If Why you drink for those. Booze? Maybe it's some milk from <laughs> maybe my coffee. Maybe it's milk. You're right. Maybe. Coffee, milk, maybe water. Ooh. I guess that's your booze cabinet. Hey, look at that. 
Well, bathroom, which the, the other one is still stove, stainless steel sink. There's a shower and a toilet. A stand up shower in here. This is nice. I wonder what the price difference is on this one. I don't know. Low clearance on that door. Oh, not too much more. That's, that's reasonable. It's a $2,000 difference. It's only a $2,000 difference. I'd yeah, definitely pay I'd, the two I'd, grand for the I shower would too. and toilet. Absolutely, yeah. That's, man, if we were looking for something that the Jeep yeah. could tow, this look would be it. Look how cute it is. It's little. Yeah, it's like a little teardrop trailer. Look, That'd be easy small, to efficient around. to move around. Oh, yeah. I like it too. Oh, did you see that? Real quick. Just for someone who wants to look at the topper. These are little truck campers. I call them truck campers because they actually fit up in the bed of the trucks. Pretty nice. But you'd be surprised how much room is in these. So these do take up the bed of your truck, but it allows your truck to tow a boat or to tow another trailer or to tow something else. No bathroom though. Um, actually, it should have a bathroom. Some of them do. Price tag is twenty-five grand. Is that? No, that's just the bed pull out. Okay. I don't think this has a bathroom. If it does, I'm not seeing it. Twenty-five grand. Twenty-five. I like the other one better for eighteen. To be honest with you. Twenty-five grand. This is, this is where the big boys play. Alright, this is where the big boys play. Bring your wallet. We got some here. Yeah, we'll go in one. Pick this one. Let's get one. Oh, people in there? Well, we passed all the big ones. Oh, here we go. This is a 38 footer. Look at these fancy folks. Woo! This is when we hit the lottery, baby. Oh, you better start playing first. <laughs> we're, going, we're going to hit the YouTube lottery. <laughs> <laughs> right? Wow. Oh my, my goodness. goodness. Look at the size of that. I feel spoiled up in here. Ooh. <gasps> I'm in the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> Man, wow. look how big this is. It's a freight liner. How do you like this one there, Madam Mayor? I'll take it. You take it? I'll take it. It's only 320000 You ready to drive it home today? That's right. Let's do it. <laughs> Who's paying? <laughs> <laughs> well, guess not. Hey, here's another Class C. The Chevy Duramax. Powers this one. Oh, I like the color scheme again, the grays. I like those. I like the gray. It's classy, pretty, but pretty doesn't show dirt. Big cabinets. Yeah, this is big. Big refrigerator. Three burner cooktop. I like this too. Yeah. This has got one large slide out. That whole wall comes in and goes out. 150. Oh, yeah. There you go. Wow. The savings on this is 85,000. They want 235. It's 150 today. Pretty big sleeping area up here, too, with the TV. Yeah. I kind of like it. 
Pretty nice. That's a nice living area. Yeah, I do. I like how big this opens up. Yeah. Very nice. And you don't have to have any stairs coming yeah, out. Yeah, you don't have stairs going in and out because these stairs are all built in. <laughs> I just had to get this one because we haven't talked about this one yet. This whole row seems to be Class C's and this is what they call a Super C. It has a Freightliner truck front. Sure, you want to go in here? Sure, not really. It's gonna make me drool. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that room right there. So this is a super C. Look at that room and you get a little like sunroof. Oh my goodness. And that slides down as you can see to block the light. Wow. Um, Look how big this space is. Holy you can roller skate in here. Definitely Holy crap. It's got the loungers and the dinettes in here. What do you think? I could roll it for sure. Oh my goodness. Two bathrooms. So this one has the shower, that one doesn't. But still two bathrooms. You know what, the space that is in this, I want to see the price tag on this. Oh, looky here. <sighs> yep. Okay. This, uh -huh. to me personally, if we were shopping, and we didn't have a truck and we're looking for a Class C, I think this wins. Yeah, look at all this space. Full-size refrigerator. I think this wins. Full-size, oh, look at that. Well, How much would you give for this? How much would I give? I'm oh. thinking... Look at this. Full size. And it has this nice lock system yeah. for when you're traveling. Full, full size. But yeah, it's full size. I see the door. That's nice. An oh RV. Unheard of. The amount of space in here is incredible. But today, yeah, and the show bathroom price. is kind of in the middle. Yeah, show price two thirty. Hey. And look at all the cabinets in here. Would I want to give that? Uh, but today's, I was, today's I was, prices. I think I'd give one sixty, one eighty for it. But today's prices I understand. are outrageous. Yeah. But two twenty nine. I like it. Uh, you even look how deep these cabinets are. This thing retails for three fifty five. Right. That's why I said show price. You're saving one hundred twenty five thousand. Is basically a third off. Does that not tell you how much their markup is? The cabinets are really deep. Yes. This folds down. Does that become a sleeping area also if you yes. wanted it to? Mm -hmm. I don't know why you would need it though. I mean... This, I think for me this is my personal favorite on the day is this one right here. There's even room to have a picture on the wall. Hello. <laughs> this is like a regular <laughs> house. It is. This has everything. It's got the, all the digital gauges. I like that. Freightliner. Little cabinets here. All switches. It's really Very nice, nice unit. Well, hello again. Oh. This is nice. Yes. So this is the my favorite one today that we saw. We just came out of here, and this thing is just. My birthday's right around the corner. It, yeah, I, I just get it for me. <laughs> I just love it. I love the layout. It's perfect. It's got dual slides on each side, so this thing is massive inside. Ah, oh, 229. Oh, <laughs> that would hurt the pocketbook a little bit. These are nice. This we saved the best row for last. Yeah. Is there any other ones you want to go inside? Yeah. All right. We would be remiss if we didn't uh, explore the one Tiffin that we've seen. This is a Class A. I don't expect this bad boy to be cheap. Look at the floor. Oh my goodness. Tiffin does make some of the state of the art. Oh my goodness. Best luxury Class A motorhomes on oh the market. Goodness. So if, you, if your wallet 
can handle whatever. This is the whatever. Beautiful coach. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why are your eyes all lit up? <laughs> this is crazy. What do you think? <laughs> I'm in love. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. Double fridge, look how big that is. <laughs> I don't see a price yet. I'm scared to look. You think it's under five hundred thousand or over five hundred? Uh, wow. I'm gonna say six eighty five. I'm gonna say five forty nine. Oh, look, you're look, there's optimistic. even a fan in here. Yeah, ceiling I'm fan. All about that. Look at this shower. Wow. Hello. Ooh, washer and dryer. Washer and dryer. And look at the size of these, okay? Almost house unit. Wow. Splendid. It's splendid. It's splendid. It's splendid. There's more. There's more. Oh my goodness. There's like little, there's a safe there. A safe. A safe. Built in safe. And then, well, that's a wiring mess oh there. Oh my goodness. I so, need to work on that. <laughs> I don't want to see that. <laughs> At least you can get to it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. It's gorgeous. Let's see if we can find a price tag on this thing. What is this? Oh, what'd okay. you find there? Water, or the water heater. Oh. Access panel. Good to access. Yeah, it. I like that. Oh my goodness. That's actually less than I thought it would be. That hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> Did you get the backpack and everything? Like Look, MSRP, you were close. 447. So do you get this beautiful backpack if you buy it today? <laughs> it's a pretty nice backpack. Oh my goodness. That one has a water bottle on it. I'm sure they come with it. <laughs> this is a very comfy dining area, I tell you. I could I can do this. Let's, let's make this happen. You know for the price though, I like the other one we just came out of. Anyway. The Super C. I like that one better for us. But if money's no object, I like this one. <laughs> Start playing that lottery, okay? <laughs> yeah. Heat. Yeah, but I like how it's covered so you have all this counter Double sink. But some of the stuff you see in the Tiffin in, in ours too, like, you know, is this thing here? Nice big double sinks. Yeah. Oh man. A dishwasher. A dishwasher? I don't particularly oh, need wow. that. Yeah. All one floor. 
all on the same level. <laughs> Think they'll notice if I just stay. <laughs> Are you gonna drag me out of here? Write that check, baby. Write that check. <laughs> Are you gonna go suss and pull me out of here? <laughs> Ooh, my goodness. Wow, these are very, very comfy as well. You think you can ride there? I believe I can. <laughs> I'll leave them where can I drive? Look at this nice window shade too, and it's got little fans. Wow. Cabinets all up there. Heck yeah. We did find a Tiffin Wayfair. They do have one here. So this one should look almost like ours. Good price. Oh my goodness. Different cooktop though. Only have the one. Oh, induction. The induction instead of the gas. That's the same. This is the same, yep. Well, this is just like ours. Yeah, outside of this. It's so got the far. Murphy bed and the seats. These I like better. I like these better. These are going to last better. Ours, I'm already starting to see wear. a little wear on. We haven't even hardly used it. So we gave 140 for ours. This one's 149. It's a 2024. Oh, look at this. Has a That's a good deal. This has different legs, too. This has this that is the leg. Really? Instead of the side ones, that's a good... Oh, I like that. That's a good difference. Because I see that being a problem on ours. That's definitely an improvement. Oh, I like the colors in this bathroom. Everything else is the same. Just a few differences. I like the color, too. I do. I think I like the darker color better. I like better. this color better, actually. I do. Controller for the bed. It's not on the side. Yeah, I don't know. That's the same. I wonder if they took the motor out and it's just manual now. Do you think? I think they did. Oh, that's much better. Oh, I wish because I hate the motor on ours. Yeah, I just see ours failing. Wow. Much better. I like the manual. Yeah. Wonder if ours can go manual. Well, of course it can. If and when it breaks. <laughs> it's going to go manual when oh, it. Oh, very nice. That's a problem because if they can do this, obviously yes. Oh, well, that's, I like that way better. I do too. I'm just. I wonder I, if this is heavy. Oh, this. Oh, it's wow. still pretty heavy. It's still pretty heavy. Yeah. The rest of that's the same. The table and all that, but. Same fridge. All this looks the same. We have a 23 we just bought um, for 140 from a private owner, so that's actually a good price. I think the prices down here are actually pretty decent. They are really, really, really do. a lot better than I was expecting. Yeah. You're nuts. <laughs> but I, I like mean, the you have to add the tax to all that. I like the recliners better. It's a Murphy oh, that's bed. The Murphy bed. Yeah. This oh, is no, the bed. That won't work. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're nice, actually. I know. You have the Mercedes. Yeah, it's does the it same exact coach. Good? Yes, it drives like a car. But does it go? I mean, you can do you tow with it. Yeah, we tow a Jeep with it. Yeah. Yeah, but ours There's has ours is an automatic here, and this comes with down, but it's got real flimsy legs on it, and the motor strains to lift the bed. This, this is, is manual. manual. I, I like, like that. that. Better. Yeah, because you less to go the up and down, up and exactly. down. There's less exactly. to break. Right, less to break. I like it. I like I the do. colors in here. You got nice, who's got nice but, uh, dual bed. I know a few people were asking about how that looks when it comes down. 
So, ours is a 23, and this must be a change on the 24, Tiffin Wayfair. Ours is an electric bed that comes down, an electric Murphy bed. This, they've changed it to a manual Murphy bed. I like that better. And this is the leg support, where ours is different. It's two I legs like on the better. side. I like this better, too. Look this at that. This is so easy. And there's your bed. I love this much better. I like it much better. Because I know our motor is going to break. There's yeah. going to be a time that it's going to break. There's just a few differences, but this is one of the better there's differences. I, mean, I don't know about the induction one. one. If that is better, you can only do one at a time. I so prefer the propane, the two so burner propane, but not like a big that. deal. Not a big deal. But you can make it work. But the bed, I definitely like that. Definitely. And it's very easy. Look. So they must have been having problems with them if this is the next model change. Right. And I'm sure... But this is a good idea for us. So when if we want to and it goes to a manual bed and, yeah. the, and the motor breaks on it, because I know it will. You just do this. You just build a little thing like that. Yeah. And then there's a little strap right there. And if you look right here, there's a hook for it to strap to the wall. Oh, yeah. So, very nice. So yeah, and it's very easy to move. Now here's another reason we chose this coach. Here we are in the Publix parking lot in Gainesville and it's pretty easy to navigate and park. You just gotta park a little bit of ways and get some cardio in but you can really navigate much better in a coach this size. It's only about five feet longer than a long pickup truck. So. And here we are heading to Publix to get what? The Publix Sub. The Publix Sub. That's right, y'all. Gotta love them subs.